United Fan TV, 1-0 win. Larry with the penalty goal, and we keep a clean sheet. I mean, it's definitely something to build on. Not a spectacular performance. We didn't score in the run of play, but I think something that uh, you know the team can use to go forward. What did you think of the match? Oh, the match was actually one of the most entertaining matches I think I've seen Atlanta United play this season. Um, you know, that first half, it was just a wave after wave of attack. There was so much, there was so much energy in the middle of the field and at the, and at the uh, in the final third. Uh, we didn't quite get the quality in terms of finishing, um, but you know, it was it was great to see the the team actually you know sustain a threat for you know longer than a minute or two. That was this was well over 45, 55 minutes that it was just about all united at that point. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, definitely. Uh, really, I think uh, it was a big surprise, I think, for many that uh, John Gallagher started up top. I think for me, it wasn't like uh, we kind of talked about before the match. In my match preview, I had him actually starting up top as he has previously in his collegiate career and for Allen United too. But yeah, definitely the lineup maybe did not inspire uh, a lot of people. But I think at the end of the night, you know, we found that uh, it was a winning recipe against a DP-less FC Dallas. Yeah, and that's exactly. I think that's exactly what the what the plan was was to be a, a sum of a sum of our parts. Basically, um, you know, we're we're running low on DPs ourselves. I know we just signed one, um, but you know, for for you know, Glass to put the lineup that he did. Uh, he had a whole lot of confidence in, um, you know, guys like Moraney, Lennon, um, and Gallagher, especially, uh, to to kind of be the, to do enough to, because I, I don't think he set out to get a draw. I think he set out to get a win, and you know, it really it really impressed me. I had I had my doubts um, when the lineup came out, but it really impressed me with with the way he set out our team to win tonight. Definitely, and yes, some people maybe had it like maybe as a false nine or. Because uh, they didn't know that Gallagher could uh, maybe play up top. Uh, what what'd you see from him up top that you know was maybe a little bit different from the other night where he scored? I think I think that uh, one of the one of the areas that he struggled in in his last match was just the decision making in the final third. And I think that you know not playing as a designated striker, you have to you have to make a decision where the pass play somebody else in and all those other things. But with a striker, your mindset is, is a little more simplified. It's not just score, score, but, you know, he was looking to progress things forward, not looking to slow things down. Um, and, you know, when he did bring others in, like uh, when he, when he played in more, more any after that, that very long ball from our defense to the attack, um, you know, I think that's where he excelled. I think that he still has a lot to, to kind of come to when it comes to his decision-making, but you know, tonight he was, you know, and I and I and I and I put this in the um, in the tweets that he was a menace to the uh, FC Dallas back line almost the entire night. So um, I, I really applaud his effort tonight. Yeah, definitely, definitely for sure. Uh, now, also uh, seeing returning to the side was Fernando Mesa, and then Larry kept his place. Do uh, you think experience maybe had a little bit of something to do with uh, how resolute we were to be able to see out this match? As a clean sheet. I do. I definitely do. I think that a lot of the goals that we've conceded over the past couple of weeks have just been sloppy, uh, you know, error-related goals. And I think when you have a little more experience, you have a little more calming presence back there, then you you don't see as many of those go by. Um, you know, Meza and, and Escobar especially were, were really resolute in their defending tonight. Uh, it was very rare that a, a ball crossed over um, you know, from the right, made it past Meza, and you know, same with with Escobar. It, they were they were very much there, and I think they worked well together. Um, and you know, and and Bello, I think, is growing into that role a little bit more. Um, you know, we've we've seen him, you know, kind of lose a runner, um, and that didn't happen nearly as much tonight as it has in previous matches. Same with Escobar too, and I think that Meza um, and Jeff, especially, are, are kind of you know, uh, uh, great reasons for that to be the case tonight yeah now uh i don't know how aware you are of the uh the kind of whole true 17s type of thing that's been uh floating around on twitter and some other places but uh it's definitely been you know somewhat 
uh, ridiculous. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I just want to bring up the 217's argument, really, where, uh, you know, what have you thought about Atlanta United's uh, kind of social media message so far during our tough time? And then also, uh, you know, I think tonight with the, you know, the introduction of the starting 11 as well. I mean, definitely, I think maybe a message that they heard uh, maybe from the fans. Yeah, I think so too, and I I am familiar. Um, I think that <laughs> this there's a lot of stuff on social media, and there's a lot of there's a lot of takes that that get put out there and stuff like that. But you know, at the end of the day, I think we all you know stand by the club, and that that's from the that's from the players, the captains, to the to the stewards, and everybody, um, you know, and the and the social media team as well. So I, I think that you know tonight's lineup was you know it was it was a, it was a great touch, and I think that. Uh, I think that, you know, in our, during this period of time, I think it's, it's caught a lot of people by surprise, including the, the people kind of running the, um, you know, running the PR and social. But I think that, you know, the, the goal is for everybody to kind of stick together and, and be able to see it through uh, this part, because there are definitely greener pastures ahead at that point. Definitely. And so, uh, you know, we have a new DP coming in, uh, Marcelino Moreno, uh, I don't know how much you have seen of him or know of him, but uh, what do you feel and hope that he could bring uh, into this team in about a few weeks when he can finally integrate into the side? Yeah, I think it's I think it's confidence. I think it's movement too. Um, I haven't. I admittedly haven't seen a lot of them, but um, from what I have seen and what I've read, you know, the it's 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 all about intent and his intent in play um, as it drive things forward. So I I think that was needed, and I think that. Before tonight, we hadn't seen a lot of that intent showcased by United. And if if he comes in and, and he adds to this, and you know we're we're obviously we're obviously still in it this year, but you know we keep building towards this sort of the sort of um, uh, you know frenetic, pacey attacking style, and kind of being more direct and more forward thinking. Uh, you know, when people like Joseph come back and whatnot and, and, and Barco and, and all of that, it's going to be a very, it's going to be a very fun thing to watch. Definitely, for sure. Uh, how do you how do you think we'll fare over the weekend? Uh, it obviously will be a little tougher test if, uh, you know, Chicago actually has DPs on the pitch. So, I mean, we will have still a, another test in front of us that uh, we will have to, I think, prove that we can pass. Yeah. I'm taking a day at a time. Uh, I guess that's the best way to say it. Yeah. You know, um, the last time we went to Chicago or last time we played Chicago, it wasn't really all, um, wasn't really what we expected. So I, I would say that, you know, it's, I think at this point we are now needing to game plan on a game by game basis. Um, and, you know, for what Chicago has to offer, regardless of where they stand in the rank in the standings, uh, I think that you know if we come out like we did tonight um, with again with with focused intent, I think that we'll I think that we'll fare better than we have in in previous matches. Love it. Hopefully we do, and uh, hopefully we get that dub in Chicago. But appreciate your time. Thank you so much, man.